My name's Nathan. I'm from the Archer Wiki. So we write articles all about your characters and your I episodes. Often go to your website to see what has happened on Archer because sometimes I forget. That's great because that's what that was going to be my first question actually. I do actually like I will so uh, a combination of your site and Casey Willis cuz he's got a a uh, crazy steel trap mind that remembers everything that we've done. Uh, so I uh, will ask him and then we'll double check with you guys to make sure. Like I forget if Ray is walking or not walking <laughs> at any certain time. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm from the Archer Wiki. So oh, awesome. We, yeah, we write articles on all your characters and all of the episodes. Fantastic. Have you ever used the Wiki before? We have, actually. <laughs> we have looked up things. Like, what, what episode was... Uh, Babu in? Look it up. There, there's the answer. So my question for you is that yeah. you've been able to do some really crazy things on the show with yeah. your character. What kinds of things would you like to see from your character in the future? Oh, that's such a good question. Oh my god, I have to actually think. <laughs> I think it'd be funny if she had a short-lived romance. I'd be very curious who she would date. And then what that person's relationship with Pam would be like. Maybe she could calm down a little. <laughs> she could mellow, chill a little bit. You know, she's very high-strung. Intense. Intense. But I guess that would that's the fun of it. Your character has gotten to do some amazing and crazy things mm -hmm. over the past six seasons. Yes. What would you like to see her do in the future, if you could pick? Oh, God. Well, she has gotten to do... I mean, she got to go to space. She got shrunk down and shot inside a human being. She gave birth on an abandoned airstrip. She dealt cocaine. I mean, I don't know. I think her bucket list has pretty much been dialed. You know, I mean, what is what is there left to do when you're, you know, you're a cocaine dealer living in a despotic banana republic and then you have your baby on a, on a abandoned runway? Um, I'd like to see him get some more action with Lana. Um, not that that's new, but but he uh, he would like for that he to like he would like that to happen. It would be great to see him like really kick Archer's ass one time. Though I don't know if that'll ever happen. So it sounds like you know your character almost as well, or even better than some of the writers sometimes. Do you ever get involved in that kind of process about well, what Pam would say or do? Right. Well, when they first asked me to write the Twitter feed, because Adam writes all the episodes, mm -hmm. so it's just him and it's coming out of his brain. And I was like, it's so good. How could I possibly try to write for this character? Um, so it took some some getting used to and some like, okay, I can do this. I can be confident and do this. Um, so some of the things, nothing's really bled over, but. Some of the things that I've been able to do is like so fun. Like she's got all these side jobs. Like she's a bouncer at a strip club, and she's in a jug band. You know, like shit yeah, like that. So it's been really fun. So yes, lucky. Mm, that's me. <laughs> what do you have to say about your character's origins His that origins? that are floating around and being accused of? Uh, I mean, we know he's a clone of somebody and something. Uh, we don't know which clone he is that survived the big clone fight at the end of season five. I know, Adam Reed knows, but we're the only two who know. Uh, so will we ever get to the bottom of the whole shebang? I want to see it. I want to see who Krieger Prime is. I want to see where it all leads. I don't think it's Hitler ultimately. I think it's somebody else and I think that's what Krieger was fighting for at the end of last season. Uh, but who knows? Uh, you know, it's all in the head of Adam Reed. So I want, I would love to see it resolved. What is it about Ray that you feel like he needs to go through so much physical turmoil? I think it's because I do the voice, and I think compared to everybody else, Ray stands out like just as a terrible voice actor behind the character. Uh, so I think subconsciously I want to self harm, and I take that out on poor Ray's body. Yeah, we're sad to see that he's disfigured again, but hopeful that something else will happen to him in season yeah, he seven. Doesn't, he doesn't die. <laughs> he doesn't die yet.